Here's problem 31.5. A square coil length of side 24 centimeters of wire consisting of two turns is placed in a uniform magnetic field that makes an angle of 60 degrees with the plane of the coil. If the magnitude of this field increases by 6 millitesla every 10 milliseconds, what is the magnitude of the EMF induced in the coil? All right, so we need to look at this and see how the flux is actually going through this coil. So here is an X, Y, and Z representation. And our coil, our square coil, is in the Y, Z plane. So here's our coil. It's uh, 24 centimeters on the side, 0.24 meters. And so the area of this coil is going to be equal to 0.24 meters squared. And that is equal to 0 0.0576 square meters. And we're told that the um, magnitude of the field is 6 millitesla. And our change in time is going to be 10 milliseconds. And um, we have an angle of 60 degrees with the plane of the coil. So if our magnetic field is coming out here like this, let's, let's actually put that in color here. Here's our magnetic field. This angle with the plane of the coil is 60 degrees. So the angle in terms of its relation to the area vector, because the area vector is always normal to the area it represents. And so that's coming straight out along the x direction. So the angle between the magnetic field and that is 30 degrees. So that's the theta that we're interested in here. So our theta is the angle from between the two vectors and that theta is the angle between the two vectors and that is 30 degrees. So now we have the information we need if we look at the uh, flux in general for a planar area like this, that's going to be the field times the area times the cosine of the angle between the two vectors. So our change in flux in this case is going to be equal to the change of all this, but the only thing that's changing is the magnetic field. The area doesn't change and the angle doesn't change. So this is going to be equal to the area times the cosine of theta times the change in magnetic field. So, if we're looking for the average EMF, that is going to be equal to the number of turns times the change in flux over the change in time, at least magnitude. And so that is going to be equal to the number of turns times the area times the cosine of theta times the change in magnetic field over the change in time, magnitude. We have, I forgot to mention, we have two turns. Keep that in mind. So our number of turns is two. Our area is 0 0.0576 meters squared. Cosine of 30 degrees is um, 0.866. Let's just put in there 30 degrees here first. And then we have a 6 millitesla change, 6 minus 0, uh, or, or change of 6 millitesla, we're told that, in 10 milliseconds. So the millis cancel out. And so this is 2 times 0 0.0576 times cosine of 30, which is 0.866, times 6 divided by 10, or 0.6, and this is all equal to 0 0.0599 volts. Or we could say approximately 60 millivolts. So that is the induced EMF, average induced EMF in this coil uh, for two turns. And what made this hard was actually just 
determining that the angle was indeed 30 degrees and not 60 degrees because it should be between the two vectors, the area vector and the magnetic field. 60 millivolts.